perceive uh, the year 2022 don't want to uh, cite the coronavirus and every <clears throat> other thing but then uh, in uh, in your own perspective uh, how can you define the year 2022 bringing in the african context uh, well it's good well, you mentioned about the uh, coronavirus but um, i want to say the year 2022 for Africa has been, I would say, a good year. To be honest with you, let's begin from what you just mentioned. You talk about the coronavirus. Look at the whole world. Uh, there was uh, forecasting that people are going to be, corpses are going to be on the streets of Africa. That's why we saw pundits in the Western world saying, you know, Africa is going to be carrying corpses all over the place. We saw the opposite. The United um, UNESCO and the other World Health Organization, they are kind of shocked and Asking the question, how did Africa escape from this COVID-19 that we don't see people dying the way they are dying? We have less in Africa. Let me just say that. We have, I'm not a medical doctor, but I can tell you that the high temperatures that we have in Africa, the coronavirus couldn't survive in that high temperature. So I would say it's a, bla it's a blessing thing for Africa to see that we actually went through this. But the downside of it is the fact that you know, um, the COVID-19, the world is becoming a global village. And logistically speaking the effect of covid 19 in one part of the world actually affected africa negatively you are seeing uh prices of things going up because the supply chain has been disrupted you see the war in russia and all these other things but as a whole to be honest with you i want to be on the positive note that 2020 has not been a bad year for as a whole if you look at what's happening in the world this has been a year where africans have opened their eyes to the reality of what they can through. This has been a year that Africans have stood their grounds. This has been a year that Africans are able to challenge their colonial masters. Every day we talk about France and what's happening in the African continent. And whoever knew the African can stand up and say, hey, we are not more, you know, the colonial area. We are cardinals. We can work as cardinals. You know, the world stands up to condemn Africa in terms of who the task and over of Africa. Africans say, hey, wait a minute, we can take our own destiny at home into our own hands. They might be cool here, but we think that these people can lead us to one way or the other. You know, there are tensions, geopolitical tensions, inflation all over the world, but Africa is surviving. You know, Africa is showing some re resiliency that the world has never seen before. People thought that Africa is going to be buckled up on their knees. Yes, we do see challenges on the continent. Yes, we do see issues on the continent. We do see the consequences of the war. We do see inflation. We do see the tension. We do see geopolitical issues happening here and there. But as a whole, the continent is not on its knees. People are able to pick up themselves and say, we are better off. We can do better than this. So to be honest with you, I see Africa coming out of this with a platform that can energize them to pick up 2023 and drive their own future. To pick up 2023 and design their own future, pick up 2023 and become leaders on the governing table of the Britain World Institution and not be beggars. I see Africa stand up and say, hey, all these draconian loans that we are taking, why is the West having loans at 2% and Africa is having the same loan at 20%? Why is it that? Why is that so much unfairness in the world? I see the voice of some people coming up being able to articulate their own position and say, we cannot be at the same position. I see Africans standing up at the, uh, uh, the United Nations Security Council and asking for a position on the table and say, we cannot just be voters who are having a secondary opinion. We have to be there to give veto power to say, no, this goes against the interests of Africa. We can veto this and it shouldn't progress along the, along the table. Because right now, Africa doesn't have any veto power. Anything can be voted, anything can be decided, and we just have to be on the receiving end to take it. But at this stage, I think the continent is ready, you know, to do what the French might say, run the ball. Yeah, enough is enough, and we're ready to take the ball by the hand. I think that is the way I see Africa emerging from 2022 into 2023. Le monde, c'est nous.